Hello dear friends, my name is Victoria Moro. Welcome to release of the day. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can keep up with the newest trends in the world of indie artists. Hello, hello, dear friends. I am so happy to be here with you. Join us tonight, a very talented artist. Hello. Hello, how are you? <laughs> good, very good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm in Stockholm, Sweden, and uh, the weather is not fantastic, but who cares about the weather when we have music, right? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Are you ready to begin? Yes, I am. Absolutely. I'm looking okay. forward great and then first of all please introduce yourself what's your name i'm therese naimi and i'm a singer artist and uh, entrepreneur i've been doing music for 17 years now uh, supporting myself on only doing music so uh, i'm grateful i've been traveling the world and spreading my music uh, in the middle east and five years in the us and in europe so that's shortly. I'm also a mother of three small angels, like I call them. <laughs> so I have a full, full life. Oh, great. Thank you so much. Where are you from? I'm half, uh, I'm, I used to say, uh, I'm proud 50-50. My father's from Lebanon and my mother is Swedish. So half Lebanese, half Swedish. But I, I live in Sweden now. But this is why I had a career in the Middle East for 10 years, because of my inheritance, I would say. So some of my music have that Middle Eastern flavor to it. What is the genre of your music? The genre? I call it grown-up pop. Can you say that? Yes. <laughs> but, you know, but I love the, I love the mixture. I would say it's it's pop music, but it has the mixture and, and the flavor from Middle East, from the Latin field, from... Uh, uh, but also some music I sing in Swedish, actually. So it, it could say that it's two different, uh, two different uh, paths, or what do you call it? Yeah, yeah. I'm a little bit. Uh, what should I say? It's hard to, to put a label on your own music, right? <laughs> yeah. So it's hard to describe, but uh, yeah, kind of a grown-up yeah. pop. I get back to that. Grown-up pop. <laughs> grown-up pop. Okay. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay. What is the last song you listened to? Today, actually, it was my own song, Fool's Gold, because we're releasing a new music video to it. And I just uh, showed that we're doing the final editing to the music video. It's very exciting, as you know, when you do something uh, creative. So I, I was just listening to that song. I don't always listen to my own music. No, not every day. <laughs> but today I actually did because we viewed the video and I'm very excited about the new video. Okay, what is your favorite movie or TV series? Oh, TV series. Oh, Stranger Things, I must say, because, <laughs> I, do, because I watched it with my kids now. And, and I love when we can do something together. I think this is really good when you, and they're 12, 10, and 4, but to actually watch something together that everybody in the family likes, I think that's great, you know. But I think also it's, it's a great series. So, Stranger Things. The movie, um, I have to think about that. Uh, the, uh, Shan Shock, Sean, I can't say it in English, you know, the key to uh, freedom with uh, um, Morgan Freeman. I mm. think it's called Shawshank, right? Uh, that's, that's one of my top 10 movies. It's an older movie, but I, I showed it to my kids the other day and it's a beautiful, beautiful movie about how they escape from jail. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Very nice for children, yeah. Yes, I know, exactly. <laughs> Preparing. <laughs> That's funny. Yes. Okay, then uh, what is your favorite book? My favorite book? Al Coelho. I don't know if you, if you read it, my Coelho. It's, it's, um, it's about a monk and the importance of, of living today and, and that you to do the best of every day and not waste time. Uh, I think it's um, it's really it's really beautiful book, and um, that's how I live my life. I, I, I say this: uh, as long as we have life, we have everything. 
we can have problems in our lives and things will show up that maybe we don't like or uh, we lose a job or a relationship goes bad or something. But as long as we have life and another day to do something different, I think we have everything. So the book is about that to share today, you know, and I think that's very important. Oh, nice answer. Thank you so much for your recommendation, actually. Thank you. Okay, what is your favorite dish? My favorite dish? Um, I like um, Tom Kakai soup. Is that strange? <laughs> this wow. type Tom Kakai soup. You know what it is? It's with the coconut and the chicken. Oh. And it's actually fun. one of my absolute favorites. <laughs> wow. I should say meatballs, right? Since I'm Swedish, right? But... Uh, but as a, as a half Lebanese, I would also say homos and messe. My father makes the best messe in the world, Lebanese. Oh, yes. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you. Okay. Are you a cat person or a dog person? Or you prefer other animals? Okay, okay. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Okay, yes, one second. Yes. You will die now, okay. Oi, so cute. <laughs> Isn't it? What is the name of this beauty? He's boss. This is boss. And yeah. you know what? You know how old he is? This is my angel. He's 18 years old. 18. Yes. So wow. he's a hero and he's healthy and he's okay. You know? So this is my oldest baby. I didn't know you would ask a question. He was just here by accident. But well, say hey to boss. <laughs> so awesome. definitely a dog person, not a cat person. Oh yeah, now we can see <laughs> also your dog. It's nice, nice, beautiful doggy. Thank you. Okay, which artists influence you most of all? One of my okay, any artist who um what should I say dares to be themselves, you know what I mean? To to follow their own path. And I'm an indie artist, so I, I love any indie artist that just follows their own heart and go with, you know go with their own heart and follow their own path. And one of the artists that inspired me early, because I used to live in, in Los Angeles for five years in Hollywood, becoming an artist. And one of the, my first inspirations was Sade. I used to sing all her covers, you know, Smooth Operator, Sweetest Taboo, all of these songs before I had my own music. And I love the fact that she was performing with a huge live band and barefoot. And I'm very often barefoot on stage because it makes me feel grounded, you know, and I can move freely. And uh, because I also, I'm a dancer from the beginning. So, so I would say Sade. Um, another artist is Prince. You know, I, I actually met him in Los Angeles and had a dance with him. Yes, I did. Wow. <laughs> and he, I was very tall and he was very short, but uh, doesn't matter. <laughs> but uh, and uh, actually, I would say one more, Craig David. I don't know if you know Craig David, but yes, I really love, from Craig David, I learned about the rhythms when you sing. You know, I love his rhythms and how fast he sings and how many lyrics he gets in there. But I think this, when I studied in LA to become an artist and a singer, that was really, the, the diff, what should I say? The, the difference between Sade and Craig Davis is huge. But it's it's a great mixture, and I think I'm somewhere between, <laughs> if I can oh, say that. Wow. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And next question, please describe your music in a sentence, or even better, in a word. I would say that it's really, uh, what you say, authentic, authentic. I always sing from the bottom of my of my heart. Uh, for me, being an artist is about the message. It's hard for me to just sing about something, la, 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 you know. I want it to be from my heart, just tell a story. And I always uh, share from my own life and uh, a message. Uh, so I think authentic and with this salty vibe to it, you know. I, I love the fact that it's real instruments and uh, you call it real music, but that it can actually be played live by musicians. Uh, I think to describe it, yes. Okay, thank you. Have you played any notable gigs, festivals or other events? Many, <laughs> many, many. I'm grateful to have traveled the world with my music. Um, this was my dream as a child to be able to to travel the world and spread my music and actually take my family with me on the trip. So this summer we went to London, me and the kids, 
and I sang at uh, the Pride Festival, London Pride Festival. Two years ago, before the pandemics, I did one of the best gigs. I went to South Africa and I was headlining act in front of 40,000 people. And um, I had my daughter with me on stage. And that was a memorable moment. I opened for Simply Red uh, in Europe. That was oh. a couple of years ago. And um, yeah, many. I, I, I've been fortunate to, to spread my music internationally. But this was some of the latest gigs, at least the, the one in London this summer. And I'm doing in two weeks. No, in one week, I'm performing at the Stockholm uh, Beauty Festival. And it's a huge... Uh, I'm the headlining at Grand Hotel. And to mention one more, if you're in Stockholm on December 2nd, I will have a release party at Cafe Opera in Stockholm. A beautiful venue uh, for my new music video to Fool's Gold. So it will be premiere and I will do live show, five songs with uh, uh, fashion design clothes and dancers on stage. And uh, that would be fun. So this is what I'm doing today. The guest lists and... <laughs> <laughs> Great. It's amazing. Thank really amazing. Okay. What's your best quality? What's your weakness? My best quality? To, to, um, to live every day. I must say I'm very, I wouldn't call it positive, but I am very positive. But it's more that, you know, um, my, my mother died when she was only 53. You know, and God bless her soul. But that also taught me to live every day, you know, to make the best of every day. And I, I'm good at taking the opportunity to be, to be princess whenever I can. And what I mean with that is to dress in clothes you love, to <clears throat> surround yourself with people that are positive and, and want the best for you. And, and you, you make the journey together um, that I love people. <clears throat> I would say that that's my best quality. My worst quality, maybe sometimes I take on a little bit too much <laughs> that I forget about resting and to take care of myself maybe sometimes. <clears throat> Sorry for coughing. Um, no I think, yeah, sometimes I need to uh, slow down a bit and, and, and not forget to rest also. Yes, as I am a mother of three and... Uh, Oh yeah, <laughs> you need to rest sometimes too. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. What do you believe in? I believe in karma. To um, to always treat people the way you said you want to be treated yourself, and that people have um, people have the same worth, you know, all over the world or in the society or to treat everybody like you want to be treated yourself. So I believe in karma. <laughs> I really do. And um, I believe in that we are in charge of our own destiny. And I, I do lectures. I'm also a speaker. So this is my lecture is about from dream to reality that you have your destiny in your own hand. It it's, depends on what you make of it, you know, uh, it's not that, you know, destiny, oh, I ended up like this because of destiny. No, no, no. I think you can really, um, what do you say? Uh, you are in charge of your own destiny. It's decisions you make. And if, you're, if, you're, if you really are ready to work enough for what you want. I, I, you know, in my lecture, I talk about I was the girl who thought I couldn't sing. But it was just really I, want, I had needed to train my ears. So what I did was just that I trained and trained and tra took lessons and, you know, and I never gave up. And today I've been a singer for 17 years. So I think it's about that. You know, that's what I believe in. Okay. So what is your... You have a, yeah, okay, I just what? want to say something for the, the viewers that if you have a dream, don't give up. That's what I want to say. You just keep at it and uh, sooner or later you get there if you don't give up. Oh, it's beautiful words. Really, thank, thank you thank so, so much. Okay, next question. What is your music creation process? Um, I've been fortunate to, since I've been doing music for a long time, I've been fortunate to be able to work with great producers, you know, uh, from different parts of the world and in different studios, because I don't have a studio at home, but uh, collaborations is great, right? So what usually happens is that, you know, we make an appointment and I go down to a beautiful studio 
almost like the one I just saw in your show. <laughs> and uh, uh, we start together. I think doing music is like creating a baby together. It starts with a little seed and then it grows from there. So what can happen is that the producer says, hey, I just got this idea about this riff on the guitar or he plays something on the piano. And what I do then is that I hear melodies in my head and I start to hum something and then the lyrics comes with that. Or the producer actually says, hey, I have a great um, melody. What do you think about this one? And he sings and then I come up with words. So I think it's really a mutual creation that is cre creativity yeah, in the room, you know, uh, that we do it together. And yes, then we build and from there. And then we build from there. Nice, nice. It's always and also interesting to know about this music creation process because for every artist is different. Mm, yes, every absolutely. Every artist has yeah. their own secrets and yeah. ideas and everything like this. But for okay. me, the lyric, the lyric is very important because, like I said, it comes from my heart. It's like, what do I really want to say here, you know? And um, usually if you're in a great studio and I don't play an instrument, unfortunately, but... Uh, I, I get ideas when I hear beautiful, you know, melodies or, or you know, guitar or piano. So usually it grows from there. Okay. And now, please, if you can, sing to us 15 seconds one of your favorite songs, a cappella. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, I will sing something in, in Arabic then. Uh, from one of my... I, I wrote a song, Today is a Holiday, and I wrote it for the National Day in the UAE because I... I was signed with Universal Middle East, so that's why I, I built a career in, for nine years in the Middle East. And I wrote a song, Today is a Holiday, for the National Day, and that became a huge hit in the Middle East. And I know they're still playing it on the National Day, so it goes like this in Arabic then. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's so interesting to listen to Arabic language, actually. <laughs> it's very particular. Not every time everyone thinks in Arabic. <laughs> no, that's why oh. I think it's unique. Like Again, most of my music is in English, actually. But this, this Today's a Holiday has an English uh, chorus and Arabic chorus to mix it together. And uh, so, uh, so I think this is the only song that I actually sing in Arabic, but I think it's lovely. It talks about today is the holiday, let's celebrate and hold each other's hand and, you know, today is the day. Oh, nice. And now our final question. Please tell to us about your music project and your future plans. Okay, so how much time do you have? Just kidding. Um, something. <laughs> So, no, uh, we just um, released a song, Fool's Gold, just a couple of months ago, and it was received very well. I'm very happy about this song. Uh, so we filmed the music video, and uh, the next thing coming up is that we are going to have a release party at Café Opera on December 2nd and uh, view this music video. After that, we have two new songs lined up. Very excited about those two also, recording a music video to one of them. Uh, and um, Next year we have focus on um, releasing in the US again. We won actually the best song in the US last year, best dance song with my song Dance Love. Very excited about that. So we want to follow up that success now. And um, actually we're gonna, I'm gonna be featured in the official Grammy book uh, coming out next year. So um, focusing on more shows in the US and to keep traveling touring with my music. This will be my focus. Love being on stage, of course. <laughs> and uh, I hope that, you know, the situation in the world will calm down, of course, so we can, again, as musicians, travel and spread our music. This is my wish, of course. Oh, yes. It's very important, actually. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Okay. And now maybe you can um, let our audience know where they can listen to your music and uh, which platforms you can be found on. Yes. Uh, I have a big, fa uh, big um, uh, channel on YouTube. If you just look under Therese Naimi, T-H-E-R-E-S-E-N-E-A-I-M-E, -E -E, Therese Naimi. I have maybe 20 music videos there. So please check it out. 
Uh, on the same name, um, you know, I'm on, on Facebook or Instagram or Spotify. I don't know if you have that, but on the Therese Naimi. And my um, website is theresenaimi.com. Yes. Okay, <laughs> so thank beautiful. You so, so I hope that I will meet all the, all the audience there. Would love to share my music with all of you. Oh, I hope so. Everything yeah. will be fine very soon and you can have more gigs maybe in Italy too. <laughs> Who knows? I would love to. I would love to. I did a tour in Greece actually and, and I've been in Spain and, and uh, Cyprus and I, I love traveling Europe. But I have not been singing in Italy yet. So please, oh. yes, I would love to come there as soon as possible. Maybe I've it's been a in time Milan to once. Visit. Yeah, I've been in Milano once though, and it was beautiful. I would love to come back. Okay, and uh, now I want to tell you thank you so, so much for your time that you, you come for this interview, for your beautiful answers and your deep answers, because now I hope our audience can understand much more about you and about your own music. And now, what song are we going to listen to now? We're going to listen to a song called Fool's Gold, the one I mentioned. And it's important to me because it talks about being proud of who you are, you know, even if you're a man or a woman, but as a woman, you know, I, I want to say that, you know, be proud of who you are. And like for me, I was in a relationship that wasn't great. It's many years ago now, but it says that I'm moving on to be somebody. I'm not going to paint in your gray. I'm going to paint in color. And um, in the video, uh, actually, uh, a painter, she actually paints on my body with different colors. It's very, it's very beautiful uh, music video. So the statement is, you know, to move on to be somebody if you're not happy where you are. And that can be in anything in life, with your job or, you know, with friends or, you know, you have to stand up for yourself and be strong because, like I said, life is here and now and it's important to do follow your heart and be who you should be and this is what fool's gold talks about so i hope the viewers will really love this song so nice nice meaning of the song thank you so much thank you thank and you. now let's enjoy the song together thank you thank you for having me and i wish you all the best Mwah. <laughs> see you soon <laughs> Your cards right. 